Welcome back to the Oracle SQL Developer Tutorial. Today we are going to learning how to create a database connection. For this tutorial, you need a database to which you can connect. SQL Developer does not include a database. You can use an Express Edition database, which is free to use, but it is a separate download and a separate installation, so if you still don't have one, please stop now and get your database installed. Okay, to create a new connection, you can right-click on Oracle Connections, here in the Connections pane, and select New Connection, or you can just click on this green plus icon here. This will open this dialog where you will have to enter the necessary details to create the connection. Here you have to give the connection a name, which I'm going to call SYS but you can name it however you like here. There is a useful feature that many people don't use which allows you to define a color for the connection. By default, no color is defined, so all connections look the same, but when you define a color, the worksheet and the editors display with a frame or border of this color, and that makes it very easy for you to know or visually differentiate what database you are working with, and prevents you from making mistakes such as modifying or deleting data from a production database thinking you were doing it on a test database, for example, so, my recommendation is that you always define a connection color. In this case, since I'm going to create a connection using the SYS user, which is a very powerful one, I'm going to assign a red color, to serve as a warning for me in the future. As I mentioned before, for this connection I'm going to use the SYS user, so, I'll go ahead and type SYS, and enter the password. Here, since I'm using the SYS user, I will change the role to SYS DBA, but if I were user a normal user, I would leave it as default. And I have the option to save the password, so that it doesn't ask for it every time I open the connection. For the connection type, you can most of the time use the default, which is basic, so that is how we are going to do it. And here is where we define what database we want to connect to. In hostname, you can use the name or the IP address of the machine where the database is running. In this case, since I have the database running on my local machine, I will leave the localhost as the hostname. And the port used by the Oracle listener is by default 1521, so, most of the time you will use this default value as well. Now here, we have the option to use a SID or a service name. If you are using a multi-tenant enabled database, like the 18C Express Edition, if you connect using the SID, you will be connecting to the root container, which might not be what you want, so, if you want to connect to a pluggable database or PDB, you have to use a service name. An explanation about the multi-tenant architecture and containers is out of the scope of this course. So, to connect to a PDB we have to enter the appropriate service name. In the case of the Express Edition, the PDB that is created by default during the installation is called XEPDB1. Now we can go ahead and click on the Test button. If everything is correct, the test will succeed, and we can now save the connection. If you receive this I.O. error saying, the network adapter could not establish the connection, it is most likely because either you don't have a database or you are using incorrect data to identify the host or the database itself, so, if that is the case, please make sure that you do have a database installed and that you are using correct data to create the connection. Okay, once you have a saved working connection, the next time you want to connect to the database you just have to double click on the connection, which will by default open the worksheet. SQL Developer allows you to organize your connections into folders, which is very useful when the number of connections starts to grow. To create a new folder you have to right click on one of the connections you want to put in there and select Add to Folder, you will have the option to add it to an existing folder or create a new one by clicking on this small button here.
In version 19.4 and in very old versions of SQL Developer, folders appear first in the list, but in other versions, they were ordered alphabetically together with individual connections, so, if you, like me, want them to appear first, just update to the latest version, where this bug is. Already fixed, but if that is not possible, you have to play with the folder names, and what I used to do is to prefix them all with a capital A. They don't get rearranged automatically, so I have to do something like toggling the connection grouping on and off, for it to show the new ordering. Okay. Now that you know how to create connections, you can start learning the basics of working with the worksheet. I'll see you in the next lesson.